Busy Beats a busy producer, many credits, but now putting out music under his own name. To which end, there's an album in the works. I have vocal work on some tracks, and on some tracks I have featured artists on my production. Yo, Izzy, are you kidding me? You know what I do most of the time? Because people don't expect me to be on a song. I just play it for them and say, yo, hear this song with this person we work with. And they listen to it. I don't tell them it's me. I was like, whoa, this bad, who is this? Me, and that's when I'm like, what? You know, so it's like, I just experiment like that, test it out and see what people's real reaction is. And you say that you're working on your album. What, what's that going to look and sound like? Oh man, it's a mixture of everything. Cause you know me with my production and the way I am with my music, I love to mix everything. I love to mix genres that I love, which is dancehall, R&B, Afro. Is that the magic fusion right now? I think it, it is. And, it, and I think it's something that we should all focus on, especially in Jamaica, because if we collaborate with more African artists, I think it's going to open up the gate for so much more opportunities here. I know you want me. Every day not only when you're lonely. Yeah, you see you think you know me. You... And I feel like the Afro genre taking over right now is probably one of the main lanes that can help us. Because there's so much mixture of dancehall that's within Afro music. I think it's the closest thing to what we do. And that genre is taking off. Their numbers are crazy. If we can find a connection with them and make songs, collaborate, make really good songs, I think the two worlds combined will do major damage in the industry. Burner Boy did Kingston. Are others minded to follow? Honestly, the Africans want to come to Jamaica. All of them want to come here. Every one of them that I've ever spoke to, they, are, they want to come here. You know, it's one place they want, but they want somebody to bring them. They want, they need somebody that knows the place to bring them. And I, I know Burner Boy at his level, he's, he knows everybody, so he's gonna, but it's a very good look for, for Jamaica. You know, everybody is looking to the new crop in Jamaica, but I don't hear when you're talking about what you're doing, anything with the current sort of trap school of Jamaican dancer. Right. Well, I need to step in and try to see if I can get some more melodic, more, more songs that, that have different meanings, different topics outside of just struggling and killing and shooting and guns, you know? So that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for stuff like that to start to come in to dance all again. My plan is to do like I see that them do in America. These guys network like crazy. They come, they come together, they work together, and they move together. And that's why they have success. The Africans do it, the Latin people do it. All of them will combine together. You'll see a track with, like in the Latin world to dancehall world, you see a track with Jossie, Skeng, Skilly Bang, all on one song, all the time. And it works. If we can just make them that happen and you know, bring on these new artists or bring new producers in, put them on, bring them to labels, get them signed, open up opportunities for Jamaica. That's the best way I think I can help people. We're trying to get streaming to come here. You know, you have people like Walshy that's going to conferences trying to figure out how to make that happen. The best options to open up streaming for Jamaica. Are, it's just, it's a lot of different things that we're trying to just make work. You know, that's very important. He signed a Colombian singer called Josie, and there are tracks for Cranium, Bounty Killer, and Stefan Don. Also, along with Walsh Fire, Izzy Beats exploring something new for reggae superstar Jimmy Cliff. The Izzy Beats sound an easy sell. I'm who they call the blem guy, the mix guy. I have a way of blending genres without it sounding too over the top, too, too crazy. I've learned how to blend things in the right way where it doesn't throw you off. You know, and that's what I think they love about me, is just giving them a difference with all worlds mixed, but still not too far from what they already have been doing. Yo, is it? Are you kidding me? Coffee, already a reggae Grammy winner in 2020, and in the running again for Gifted, beats her producer on toast with production credits on one of the new songs, Where I'm From. Where I'm from, yeah. Oh, I think I'm also a track for Sean Paul's Scorcher. So he admits 2023, very competitive. It's not just numbers. It's, it's the impact that you have culturally. But uh, you know, culturally, we know who is running the streets. Like, we know who is running it. You know what I'm saying? Kafi is doing her thing with her album right now. She's the young up and coming artist that's really doing well. So it's hard to say. Have you topped Toast? 
Yeah, to be honest. With Burner Boy, of course, Burner Boy and Georgia Smith is gonna do that, but yeah, that does bigger numbers right now. Why was it important for you to kind of focus more on yourself as an artist? Well, for years, I've been working with artists and I've always been giving them the sauce, working with them, you know, singing melodies for them and doing backgrounds for them. And I came to the point now and I'm saying, am I gonna regret looking back and saying, what if? And I love the challenge of moving forward. I feel like it's, it's, it's a good time now because now I'm connected with so much more people industry-wise. I feel like I should use the opportunity while I have it. How connected are you? I mean, I've been working in the, in the business for years. I know a lot of label execs and a lot of artists I can just call personally. How can you get a Stefflon down on a song if you, you know what I'm saying, it's difficult. But it's just like, taking advantage of where I'm at right now. What's the general rep of the music coming out of Jamaica right now? A lot of them complain about it. A lot of them would rather the old, them call it book book style. You know, a lot of them say like, that's what people want. That's what people love. That's what was selling. Why are we changing the formula? But I'm, I look at it like there's nothing wrong with change. You just have to figure out how to make that old dance hall sound still have a fresh sound to it now. You know, figure out how to make it sound new. Have you figured it out? I mean, what, what do you think? <laughs> anyway, is the Beats raps with a word of advice. The same amount of energy you put into making the songs, put that into understanding more about the business. And I guarantee you're going to save yourself a lot of time, a lot of foolishness happening to you. Up there with Conscience, the lead single on Izzy Beats' upcoming album. Up there, up there, up there.